Hey everyone, Bruce here with DIY Homestead Projects. Back for another video working on a uh, cope joint. How to join two pieces of angle iron at 90 degrees. I recently did a video on this subject with the uh, Harbor Freight modified Harbor Freight 90 amp flux core welder. In this video, I'm going to do the same joint in the exact same configuration, but I'm going to use the uh, Prime Weld TIG 225X. I have been doing some practicing. I'm just about out of argon, so hopefully, hopefully I've got enough gas left to complete this joint. But I'm going to weld the outside. I've got the pieces prepped here. And I've prepped them just like I did the ones in the previous video. I'm going to tack it up first. Put two or three tacks probably on the inside here. I'll do the best I can trying to juggle learning how to weld and learning how to film this stuff. It's, it's quite a bit all at once, but I'll do the best I can. We'll see. I'm going to be using a uh, standard consumables, just a normal cup. This one is a number seven, I believe. Regular consumables. Well, I don't know what they're called. I do have a gas lens for this torch, but I've been watching some videos, and uh, from what I understand, they can... They can make your weld look better for sure and uh, and probably be more efficient coverage of the gas. But I want to use the standard stuff so I can determine what my problems are and how I need to go about trying to resolve those issues. I don't want every I want I don't want all my mistakes covered up, which would be nice for a good looking weld, but since I'm practicing, I'm trying to learn how to weld correctly. And that's why I'm using the standard gas components for the torch. This is a CK17 torch by the way. Alright, let me get all this set up and we'll get to it. Starting with just the tacks and then we'll weld up the joint and see how it goes. Okay, I've got this first outside corner joint set up. Got a couple of two by fours here. I'm just going to use these as a kind of a hand rest. Hopefully it kind of help my torch hand be a little more steady. And I'm just going to run this first outside corner joint here. I don't know if it's a butt joint or an outside corner. It's kind of kind of a butt joint, but I beveled it, and I don't know what the technical term is, but anyway, call it an outside corner joint if you like. Uh, I got the machine shut off because it's noisy, but let me turn it on, and we'll run this first one and see what happens. Right, that outside corner didn't do too bad. Let's do this next one. I've got it all set up here. Just lowered my my rest. And it's basically it's the same joint. So we'll just run that one and see how that goes. Then I'll reset 
and we'll do that last butt joint right down the center there and then have a look at the thing overall. I may go ahead and do some of the interior welds just for practice and they're going to be difficult to get to so it's going to be interesting. Alright, let's give it a shot. Okay, I'm all set up for this butt joint. Last one, everything stays the same as far as settings and all of that. I just repositioned the piece. We'll run that one. We'll have a look at that. And then I'm gonna do some of the inside work. I probably will not be able to get arc shots of the inside just from the angles and all that. It's gonna be difficult enough for me at my skill level to, to even do even weld those joints, but I'm going to weld them just for practice. So let's go ahead and do this one. Okay, at the end of this, I've got three joints in here. It's really a fillet weld right in the corner, another one down on the bottom edge, and then another butt joint. I have no experience welding vertically with a TIG or really anything as far as that's concerned. So what I'm gonna try to do is just start down in the corner, feed my rod from straight down, just try to come right up that corner. The butt joint I'll be able to get to just fine. So let me see what we can do with that. And no matter how crummy it comes out, I'll show it to you guys. I'm not expecting, uh, I, I mean, I'm gonna try to do my best, but I'm not expecting anything awesome. Let's uh, keep our fingers crossed. So I laid it down and went over that weld in the corner. There's a few spots that I had missed. That seemed to have done better. So we'll try this one in the same configuration and see how that goes. That works a lot better to turn the torch upside down to get a lot better angle on it. Got it pretty hot back there in the corner though. It's probably okay I guess. Ooh, 
stove got way too hot on that one. Plus I dipped the tungsten or I hit it with the filler rod. So those out of position welds definitely for a rookie like myself are pretty difficult, take a lot of practice. But definitely finding the right position is a it makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, the first part was okay. The other two look good. But uh, way too hot and I melted it. Got a big crater on the end of it. Looks nasty. Let me uh, get that camera set up and I'll show that to you. Well, there's what it looks like, guys. That last butt joint. You can see the big nasty crater on the end of it where I just overcooked it but the uh, two corner beads came out uh, better than I thought they were going to this uh, outside one I did I went over it and it looks the best but I got way too much metal back down there in the corner and I definitely got the piece way too hot and just just cooked it and you can see some evidence of it being cooked from the outside Lots of mill scale and build up on it from, from cooking that inside corner. But the outside welds, before I messed them up, <clears throat> they looked pretty good. But there you go, cope joint. Joining angle iron at 90 degrees using the cope joint. Well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. So joining... Angle iron at 90 degrees using a cope joint with the Prime Weld TIG 225X. Appreciate you following along. And again, as usual, if you have any comments, suggestions, hints, tips, and so forth, I really appreciate all that that you guys have been contributing to the videos that I make to help me learn how to TIG weld. Just kind of trying to teach myself this on my own using uh, YouTube resources. And whatever resources I can get. <laughs> Until next time, guys, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video or you got any useful information out of it. And subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps the channel grow and get these videos out for others to see. We'll see you on the next video.